Hey fam, Chef Lori is here. Welcome back to the Love Lab. Do you see this delicious dinner that I've prepared? These are chicken thighs, honey, garlic, ginger chicken thighs, and they are out of this world. So listen, I'm gonna show you how to make these in this video. It takes less than an hour to make. It'll be absolutely delicious. Your family will love it. We're gonna use the Instant Pot, and I'm telling you, it's everything you wanted. While you're here, before we get going, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, would you mind? Just go down there, click the button, hit subscribe, and then hit the bell so you're notified every time there's a new video. All right, let's get to it. Let's make some honey garlic ginger chicken thighs. So first thing we're gonna do, we've seasoned our chicken thighs. I'm using a orange and ginger seasoning that I got at a grocery store near me. If you don't have something like that, you can always just use plain old salt and pepper and some garlic powder or maybe it's even a little um, powdered ginger. You'll be fine. All right, we're gonna take these thighs and put them skin side down first into our Instant Pot. A lot of folks didn't know your Instant Pot has a searing function, or it calls it a saute function. And it's where you can actually brown things. Now while that's in their seasoning, while it's in their browning, we're going to make our sauce, okay? Now the sauce that we cook this in, this is so simple and straightforward, you guys. This bowl is probably too big or this measuring cup to mix it in, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna start with some soy sauce, and I'm using low sodium soy sauce because I actually um, have some high blood pressure I have to deal with, and so I try to be good with that, you know what I'm saying? This is some mirin wine, which is a sweetened sake. If you can't find mirin, you can always use a sweet white wine. It'll be a little different, but it'll still work, okay? And then to that, we're gonna add a half a cup of honey. Ooh, this is the good stuff. <laughs> I love this, the combination of the honey, the sweetness of the honey with the saltiness of the soy sauce is just, it's magical. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just magical. I absolutely love it. All right. Now let's just start to kind of get these whisked together. Now, if you want your sauce to just be very thin, you can add your water and everything else in it and you'll be fine at this point. I like to have a little bit of consistency to my sauce. So what I do is take water, which it needs anyway, and I add cornstarch to it, okay? All right, now what we're gonna do is whisk this together. You wanna make sure that you whisk this smoothly because if this is not smooth when you start, baby, it ain't got nowhere to go but down. All right? Okay, we're gonna put that in last. I almost forgot to add our ginger. You can use fresh ginger. I like using ginger paste because it's just easier to me works. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the same with garlic. Always you can grate up some ginger, you can smash some garlic, all of that's okay. None of that's wrong. This is just easier and I think the flavor is still there. I, I just do. And then I'm going to add a few red pepper chili flakes. And that's going to be our heat uh, portion of the program. I've only got about a teaspoon or so here. If your family likes things very hot, feel free to add more. My husband and I can handle it hot, but the kids, not so much. So, well, the, my husband can handle it hot. Me and the kids, not so much. <laughs> Let me be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> okay, we're going to set that aside. Oh, let's pour our cornstarch in first. Hold on. Again, this is going to be the thickening agent while it's cooking in the Instant Pot. Okay? See how you want to make sure all of that cornstarch is dissolved in there. And then let's mix it all up. Now all we have to do is wait for our chicken to finish browning like we want it. And once it's done browning, we'll take it out, put our sauce in, put the chicken on top, and let the Instapot do its thing. Okay, and our chicken has done enough cooking. All we want to do is get a little bit going. We're gonna take it out. This is a clean sheet here. Well, a clean tray and a clean sheet of parchment paper. You can use anything, but I just wanted to make sure you know it's clean. And we're just gonna set our chicken thighs aside. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off the saute function. And I'm gonna actually pour some of this grease out. Now, usually 
I don't believe in getting rid of any of your extra grease because that is where the flavor is. And I still believe that, okay? I'm not going back on my word or my belief system. But we're gonna get rid of just a little of it, okay? And I've got here a bowl, just a plain bowl. There. Okay, and I just poured some of it out. And I used my gloves because, don't fool yourself, that instant pot in there is hot, okay? This thing is hot. You will burn your hands. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it for pressure cook. Okay, we're gonna pour in this wonderful sauce. Oh, this. I'm telling you, it's already good. <laughs> the pressure portion is telling me she's ready. Now we're gonna put this chicken back in here, just like this. Just like that. Okay. This is always hard for me. Okay. <laughs> Make sure that you seal it. And then you're going to set it on pressure cook for 20 minutes. All right. You're going to let it go for 20 minutes. Let it naturally release its steam. And then you're going to be done. It's so easy. You won't believe it. You can make the same meal in a crock pot, but it will take four hours if you cook it on high, six to eight if you cook it on low. You decide which you prefer. <laughs> all right, I'll be back in just a few minutes when this is all done. All right, guys, well, we are back, and it's taking a little time, okay? It took the pressure cooker about five to seven minutes to get up to pressure, 20 minutes to do its thing, and a few more minutes to release. So, it's wonderful, I'm excited, you're ready? Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Look how, ooh, this looks delicious. Oh yeah. Ooh, it smells so good too. I'm just gonna take one thigh out here and put it here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna show you a little trick, okay, to help you sometimes when you cook in the Instant Potter things and you wanna get a little more color on the top. Get your kitchen torch, all right? And just go over the top and you brown it a little bit more like you want it. Whoa. All right, now look at that. Oh my word. And it's so tender and juicy. Ooh, look, did you see how that just fell off? Let me, hold on, y'all. Did you see, look. That's all I did, just like that. And look, it's just falling off. That's how tender this can get in your Instant Pot in under an hour. Oh my gosh. I need to take a picture. Okay, here we go. Oh, I bet it's hot. Oh my God. That is so good. Thank you guys for forcing me to taste it. I highly advise taking this out with the slotted spoon because if you try to pick them up with um, tongs or something, seriously, the chicken's gonna fall apart. So here are our chicken thighs. I just have three of them right here. The one I'm tasting is over there, okay? Now here's another thing that you wanna consider. I do this, but it's not required. Now that the sauce is all done, and my Instant Pot is pretty much done doing the work, I sometimes, well, I all the time get the gloves and I like to go back and strain the sauce okay so just like this just to make sure that any little pieces of cornstarch that didn't fully dissolve or any little pieces of um, anything that could have gotten stuck in there doesn't and can leave me with a nice clear sauce okay so I've done that and then just go through here straining just so you get it nice and smooth now, if you want your sauce to be thicker, at this point you could put the sauce back into the Instant Pot, turn it back on saute, get it back to a boil, and just mix a little bit more cornstarch in with water, and you'll be good to go. Let it boil together until it thickens. And now look, pour it back in the pot. Perfect. And then you can put your chicken back in and let it sit there and wait for everyone to get it. Or you can serve it however you want to do it. It's up to you. Okay, thanks so much for being with me today. I'm about to tear that chicken thigh up. That thing tasted so good. The ginger, the garlic, and the honey matched with the soy sauce. I mean, all the everything in it, every layer, 
is tasted and it's amazing and it's not too hot because I didn't put too many red pepper flakes in there. So if when you serve it, you can always garnish it with a few more and make it yours. All right, thanks for joining me. I will see you next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with Chef Laurie's. That's me. Happy cooking. <laughs>